Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, this is going to answer a question, a specific question I had, but it's a good uh, to answer it because for the general uh, users out there of Windows and the way that it behaves, especially when you actually do a, a sleep mode, for example. So when you power down your PC, you can, of course, uh, choose a shutdown functionality, which uh, is not a total shutdown, but, you know, part of the shutdown process. Uh, and, of course, you have the possibility to put your PC to sleep, for example. Now, one of the questions that came today is that the PC, when it came back from, you know, sleep or hibernate, didn't work well. Something was weird in the way that it actually, the Windows was operating. And then, of course, a restart fixed everything, which is usually the case. Uh, remember that when you put your PC down to sh a, sh a sleep mode, it's always kind of operating. So some of the data is kept alive through RAM. Some of the uh, information uh, is in a state of just waiting to be accessed. And the, the wake-up process of a PC requires so many steps that have to work well in order to have a good working PC. And even though your PC can go to sleep or even shut down well for a million times, it could happen that at one point something happens. And this has to do with so many things that the PC does. It could simply, simply be a glitch uh, in the power. So, for example, maybe you get a temporary or very quick power outage, not enough for your PC to shut down but enough to alter the state of some of the data or some of the ways that the PC wakes up. It could be a glitch that one of the hardware parts on the motherboard or that your PC uses, something happened. It, it could have had a glitch in its memory. It could have a glitch in its processing. Uh, one thing that is not to take for granted, um, one study did show that approximately one out of every 100 uh, computer failures that uh, happen when you're in sleep mode or even when you're using it, and then you know, especially on a PC that works well, uh, could be attributed to cosmic rays. So it could be a cosmic ray that just you know switched on a bit in the RAM memory, for example. It could have changed the state of something. Uh, these are all things that can happen. Of course, your PC itself, one new driver or driver change could have changed the way that it wakes up. And usually, of course, why is it that a restart fixes everything? Well, the restart is kind of a fresh new copy of Windows. So it kind of places everything back into its normal state. So you could have come back from sleep, everything's going wrong, or just one thing in particular is going wrong and you just restart and things are fixed. And most of the time, it's, it's a one-off thing or, you know, this happens very rarely. And um, it's, it's, it could happen it, in any machine. It's not just a Windows thing. It's really hardware, PC-related sometimes. And like I said, we can't uh, take out the idea that a possible cosmic ray could have, you know, gone through a PC and change the bit somewhere. So these are all things that are possible and that we don't necessarily always think about. Uh, the idea is if it's a one-off thing and then it's fine afterwards, there's nothing to worry about. It, it can happen. Um, if it happens all the time, that's a different thing. But usually a restart is the best thing to do. Not a shutdown, but a restart, uh, which really puts your Windows operating system back into its fresh state. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.